So uh, I actually participated in and finished this last month's 3D render challenge. I've spent the few months in between this one and the last challenge fixing my computer, so this one really snuck up on me. I made a big to-do last time about finishing one in a week. Well, this time I gave myself three days, so... Uh... So I was in a big old rush. There was no time for sketching or planning. I just started throwing assets into a scene and just like waiting for inspiration to strike me. Right off the bat, you have all this space to fill out. Look at all that. I mean, there's so much you can do with this, and I, I needed to cover most of it so that it was more of like a focused render on just like some main subjects. And because of that, I was using the asset pack uh, Fluid Ninja. Fluid Ninja is a plugin for volumetric effects, which I have a very, very surface level knowledge of, but it was perfect for this high above the clouds feeling that I immediately wanted to go for. So I needed assets to fill out a scene fast, and I resorted to kit bashing. Fortunately, I just familiarized myself with this cyberpunk gigapack of assets by Liartes Studios. Uh, I just did a video about this, so it was all fresh in my head. Because of that, I was able to quickly put together these buildings in the background. Huge shout out to Liartes Studios and their uh, catalog of assets. If you want to save 30% off of anything from them, I have a link in the description, and you can use code DRAKEMAKES30. Having more assets to use for your scenes is always a great thing to have, so uh, really excited to be able to bring that to you guys. I'm also doing some sort of forced perspective, which is interesting in this scene, where the buildings are a lot closer than they seem and the assets are just shrunk down. This is so that you get more of a parallax feeling. Alright, so moving on to the stairs. Pretty much my only plan going into this is I knew I wanted some glowing stairs that like appeared as the character walked up them. To pull this off, I'm applying the character appearance and dissolve materials from this pack to the stairs. Uh, this is a neat pack, I've used it in a couple projects before, and it has these material parameter collections which you can track into sequencer and then keyframe, which allows me to control the timing of how those stairs appear. Now, a lot like Fluid Ninja, I only have a surface level knowledge of all this, so I ended up making separate materials for each individual stair, um, which maybe wasn't efficient, but we got there in the end. There's definitely a better way to do this. There's always a better way to do shit. Eventually you just gotta do things. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is why we persevere. Finishing up the stairs was really tedious, but I think it's a really cool effect. I'm kind of mesmerized by it. So, moving on from that, I uh, added in a couple more buildings, and uh, then I had the great idea of trying to rig something in Blender, which, you know, I always have to try something in Blender, and as expected, things didn't go exactly according to plan. So here's my little montage of me failing at Blender. Okay, this, this very well could be a disaster. So I'm just gonna... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is confusing. I'm blinded. Okay, uh, one of these. Probably just roll it this out. Yeah. I mean, it's basically tradition at this point for me to try something in Blender and for it to not work out. So, jumping into day three. I completely scrapped all plans I had for custom rigging something in the background. I was gonna do like a big mech walker, but. Honestly, that was like too much of what I was doing from the last challenge anyway. So instead I went with this dragon. There was this medieval creatures pack that was given away for free like a few months ago and finally this dragon's coming in handy. So I took the uh, red holographic material that you see I've applied to a lot of the other assets in the scene, applied it to this dragon and tracked those animations in. 
I think this one had the strongest sense of color palette of any render I've done for these challenges, which I was pretty happy with in the end. Also, in watching the Top 100 reveal, apparently uh, everyone and their grandmother decided that a dragon was a good idea for the render, so I don't know what in the ether of creativity said, make some dragons, folks, but I, there's my dragon. I, I added one, too. So, last step for me was actually getting a character in there and applying it to the motion capture data. The Cyberpunk Gigapack comes with this character here, which fortunately is already rigged, but that doesn't stop me from being confused. Uh, it should be both. Uh, no, it, it should be listed on if you purchased the, you know, character, it's usually listed there, but you can just try both, right? So it's pretty much part of the process of retargeting or rigging things that, for a little bit, that they're going to become some sort of indescribable horror. First case with this, the character's neck and shoulders got all screwed up and looked like, looked like this. So that wasn't working, and then I tried to apply it to a different rig, which broke it even more. At this point, I actually watched a whole tutorial, which was really useful, believe it or not. Using FK controls, you can sort of do additive animation, which I didn't know about. You can actually just adjust limbs, and it'll apply it to all of the frames. I was very excited about this. That's amazing. What a thing I have just learned. After that, it was just about adding some more like details to the environment to flesh it out and uh, applying a final color grade. So I'll let this time lapse play out and I'll see you guys at the end of the video for the final result. Alright, and the weird music transition means we're coming to an end of all the footage I recorded. I don't recommend you put yourself under this kind of a time constraint, but I had to get something in and I'm pretty happy with the result. I submitted it just in time. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Here's what I got.